Okay, today I'm going to show how to draw a health bar and another bar that I'm going to use for the ship's battery pack. Let me show you what it looks like first. I have a green health bar and a different orange or yellowy kind of a color for the battery pack for the ship. And I now have the uh, the shooting capability draws from that battery pack. So you can see that the yellow is uh, de <clears throat> decreasing and there's a black background behind it. And also when I collide with enemy ships I take damage. Like that. So let me pause or unpause the game. And I'll head back into my scripts. So we'll go to the ship. And let me show you what I've declared for these variables. I've added max life, cur life, max battery, and cur battery. <coughs> and I've initialized them to 250 and 60 for the battery. And you see some other variables in here for money and for skills that I'm starting to work on for multiple weapons. Um, we'll get to that in another video. So down here in the update function, I am checking in this if statement if cur life is greater than max life. So if my life is ever greater than the max life, uh, for example, if I give um, a health power up, then I don't ever want it to be greater than the max. So I cap it off the max. And also, I want to destroy the ship if the life ever gets less than or equal to zero. So I do that in this if statement here. Now I'm going to go down to this next if statement, where previously I had input.getButton fire1. That's if the person pushes the um, mouse button zero, or any of the other fire1 buttons. And if time.time .time is greater than next fire, so if it's been long enough for the ship to shoot again. I'm now adding this extra condition which is cur battery needs to be greater than or equal to 0.5. I just made up this number so far I'm making up all the numbers and down here I um, take off 0.5 from the battery pack with every time the player shoots. So that's how the orange bar um, got decreased. So let's go to the display now this is a new script that I wrote. And at the top I have some textures that I've declared. One is called life remaining behind texture. That's just the black stripe behind the green one. And then this life remaining texture is the green one itself. And I have life percent. I'll get to that down below in just a bit. There's the battery remaining behind texture and the battery remaining texture. So another black and an orange in the battery percent. Now the rest of these variables are going to tell the position of the rectangle, the width, and the height. And I have two different widths because one is for the background and then so both of these uh, for life and battery and then the color for the life and battery. So they both need to be kept track of separately. And this is how you draw textures. You use the function on GUI, and uh, it gets drawn last in every frame. So I am checking in this if statement if the ship's cur life is less than zero, I want to set it exactly to zero. And you can see that I'm using uh, the name of the script, the ship script dot cur life and I have um, declared cur life as a static here so that I can access it from other scripts. And this next if statement makes sure that the battery is never below zero. So what will happen if we do have a negative number then it will draw something besides zero when we're out of um, life or battery pack. 
so we, we don't want to draw anything if it's below zero. So I set it exactly equal to zero. Now here's where I calculate all of the values to draw my rectangles. So I basically have a life percent and a battery percent and um, that's just the current value over the max value. Left and top, this is the beginning of the rectangle where it will be drawn. Now I have the width of the background stripes and the width of the current value, uh, whatever the ship's values are at the time. And here are the actual calls to do the drawing. The function call is GUI.DrawTexture and the parameters are a rectangle first with x, y, width, and height in that order and then the name of the texture to draw so for here it's life remaining behind texture, that's the black one and then there's a, a scale parameter and a transparency which is set to true and the aspect ratio which is 1 and then I uh, the next draw is the color bar, the life remaining texture, and then I repeat that for the ship's batteries. So that's how you draw bars.